Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Andrew Westberg from the Blue Cheese Steakhouse and today we're going to nerd out on Cardano and talk a little bit about extra Prouse entropy, what that means, and this upcoming entropy event. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as we switch to a decentralized block making protocol, we've moved to D0 already, but there's a little bit of reason for concern because the BFT nodes have been making blocks for so long. Those are the, the blocks made by the IOG nodes. And Professor Alexander Russell has written an article here explaining the need to add extra randomness to publicly prove a public assertion of randomness um, to ensure that the BFT nodes have not biased the block selection into the future. And so coming up, if you read through this article, coming up on uh, April 7th, there's going to be an entropy event where they're going to figure out all the accumulated entropy that we, the community, and IOG themselves have added to the blockchain and add this special variable called extra Prouse entropy. And what that'll do is that'll be included into the future with every uh, epoch knots calculation. And the knots is what's used to determine the lottery of who's winning the blocks. So let's take a look and let's dig really deep nerd out here. So let's look at some of the Haskell code. So you see the epoch knots is determined by a couple parameters. One is the NC and the NH. And then also this new one called extra entropy. And that's the one we're going to be creating in the next few days here. And so normally you take these values that are, a nonce value is just kind of a, a random hex value. And these values are determined by the blocks on the chain. So it's kind of a, a rolling thing. Each block determines, combines some, some more randomness and the transactions on the chain. And it builds up this ever never ending chain of nonce values. And so this extra one is going to be applied every time we calculate the epoch nonce and it's going to be combined with the other two with a Blake2b hash, which is a really secure, strong hash function. And so let's take a little bit of a look at the parameter itself and some of the comments here. It says, this is to be used to add extra entropy during the decentralization process. And so this is to demonstrate that it has been randomly generated and if you read through this article, they'll explain um, at the bottom kind of how the community can participate. So if we look at some more code here. Uh, so if we look at the protocol parameters today, this is mainnet and the protocol parameters today, this is set to a null value. So there is no extra Prouse entropy today. Um, so I was, I was reached out to about this parameter a little bit before this article came out uh, by some of the IOG devs because I, I create the CNCLI tool that does the leader logs. And they, they let me know, hey, we're going to be adding this extra parameter. It's going to break your leader logs. So they gave me kind of a heads up that this article was coming. And so we've been testing, uh, myself and some other stakeful operators, have been testing on the Guild Network, which is a special... Uh, a special test net that has very fast epochs that lets us test things faster. So it, every epoch only lasts an hour there. And so uh, with the help of the other operators, they added in this parameter. And so on that network, you see there's some, some Prouse entropy. And then what I could do is then fix and update CNCLI and some of the other tools like Drawer Manager that do leader log so that once this takes effect, all of the leader logs for the, all the pools and Cardano will be correct. And so let's take a look at the, the blockchain. And the blockchain, as we go, as I mentioned earlier, each block in the chain adds entropy. So any transactions that come in and it adds extra randomness to the chain. And that's this rolling ETA V value. And so that gets updated continuously as every block is made and then about 1.5 days before the epoch transition we grab whatever this value is and then combine that with some other stuff and that becomes the next epoch's 
nonce value, and that nonce value is used to determine whether your pool makes a block or doesn't make a block. And so what we're doing here is we're adding in that extra randomness to it. And so how can you and other per tool, uh, either individuals or pools participate? Um, if you're in a, a Uroi or you're just a, an end person that's delegating stake to a pool, you can create a transaction with metadata. And in Uroi, there's a way to do that. I'm showing you the example from uh, my Jar Manager tool where you can just add some extra metadata to the transaction. You don't have to send the ADA anywhere. You can just put one ADA in and send it from yourself to yourself if you want. And just include this metadata. And the best time to include this metadata is on uh, April 6th because they're going to be taking all of the entropy up to that point. They're going to be looking at a block um, on the 7th, I believe. So if you want to have the most effect on this new randomness value, you can include your stuff. And we at Blue Cheese Steakhouse are going to be taking a blake to be hash of this entire video before we upload it to YouTube. So this isn't the actual value we'll post on the chain. This is just an example. But we'll be taking a hash of this video. So this will be our addition to the randomness calculation. So I hope you enjoyed nerd nerding out with us here at Blue Cheese Steakhouse and uh, have a great day.